Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're not subscribed, I'd appreciate it. We are playing with, um, and if you are subscribed, then you put the notifications on, then you get actually more access, um, ability essentially to my layouts and you get to see things when they're released because they will actually show up in your feed. Um, if you're subscribed, that actually helps out a lot. So I, wow, that zipped through real fast. We're playing the Freak Fest formula for the challenge in from the scrap room this month. You can check it out by going to their Facebook group or on the blog. All of that is linked down below. And playing with Bella Boulevard just because this a rainbow stripe paper or this multicolored stripe paper, I should say, it's not so rainbow, um, was just calling my name and it was perfect for some photos that we just took um, uh, during a family get together at a local pizza farm and it was my niece's birthday. So we we're celebrating. So I thought all these lovely colors would work great. So I decided that I wanted to challenge myself. And normally when you're scrapbooking, a lot of times all the pieces that you're cutting, they overlap anyway. So I wanted to create like redo the stripes by cutting all the pieces out of the stripes. And yes, it's cheating a little bit because that means technically, like for example, that purple and yellow, um, two by nine piece isn't completely two by nine because it is cut off. But if I would have cut it out of any other paper and put it down and then covered it up, you would have never known anyway. That's my logic to this and why I think it's okay. <laughs> but I wanted to make it happen. So what I did is I went to my Silhouette software and I put all the size pieces on one 12 by 12 thing so that I could cut out all six of the pieces. So there were three two by nines, three three and a half circles, and three one by two pieces. And so basically I'm like deconstructing the stripe paper and redoing it on a background essentially is what happened. That's the best way I can describe it. And I apologize. My camera is usually too high and the bottom gets cut off. And for some reason it shifted. So I don't know if a cat moved it or what, because now I have, um, the canvas light so it can rotate. Uh, so I don't know. So now the tops are getting cut off. So I tried my best to zoom in. You're not missing much up there right now. You miss a little bit later when I put down some sequins, but um, I am figuring out, so I kind of figured out the layout of the cuts, um, on the silhouette software. And now I'm just kind of laying out my photos for those freaky fast formula cuts. And I decided I needed a little bit of a color pop around the border and there's definitely not enough blue. So we're going to use this blue paper. I don't remember what it's called. There is a uh, breakdown of everything in the kit at the end. So if you want to stick through to the very, very end and see a breakdown of all the things that you actually get in the flavors of the month kit. And this one portion of it, stay tuned to the end and you will see that. But I like that little bit of blue hue all the way around. And so we're going to stick that down. I did also pop up my circles on some adhesive foam. And um, just to give them a little dimension. And I'm seeing that like I want them to stand out a little bit more. I still need a little bit of pop to see that they're all separate pieces. Um, cause it kind of blends together and you can't tell, uh, that they're separate pieces. So I still need a little definition of all the pieces, the circles versus the two by nine pieces, etc. So right now, while I'm thinking of things that I want to do, I'm going to get, um, all my embellishments. So the ephemera that came in the kit for me, I'm going to kind of start seeing what I have, sprinkle some around, f arrange those in a way that I like. And so far, I like what I've got going. I have the pictures kind of spread out each on their own stripe. And then that leaves a nice spot in the middle for um, a title to go. I really want to use this hedgehog. Even though everything else kind of ended up being like tone on tone where it ended up being placed. Except for this hedgehog. He's brown. There's no brown anywhere. But he's so stinking cute. And I have to use him. So I'm like, I'll use him up here. It's fine. <laughs> and I really wanted to use this little um, birdie. Uh, but I didn't use that either. So yeah, in the beginning I was like, how do I make this happen? I want these cuts. And I was like, I have this magical machine called the silhouette and you could do the same thing with a cricket. You just go, um, like draw 
the shapes of the size cuts that you need and arrange them on a page and then figure out, okay, is this going to work? And yeah, you, you can do it. I promise. It's not hard. You got this. You, you can figure it out. I know you can, if you want to try it, but so yes, again, like I said, possibly cheating, but also, um, you, those pieces would be covered up anyway. So you would never know if I did it out of other paper. You'd never know. Never know. The only reason you're knowing is because I'm showing you. So, all right. So I decided to make them stand out. I would just use my finger and kind of rough the edges up and then, um, ink them with some white. Now I have some picket fence no it's pagan it's in um what's it called mm. you guys probably saw it better than I um than on my tiny tiny screen here um I have a black version too um uh, pigmento mm, something their white is uh astonishing so it, it just gives them you can kind of see a little bit more definition of where the circle ends and then the stripe starts it just breaks them up a little bit just so you can see them a little bit more I just I liked the idea of this and yeah that that helps so I did that to all the pieces I did to the circles I did to the two by nine pieces I did to the one by two pieces and now I'm going to add some sequins kind of in tone 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 on tone color with the stripes so I'm going to do some purple um sequins from a mix from Spie these are all from Spiegelman scraps some purple and then there's some blue in this one and then there's also this fun like orangey color and then I just have to find a yellow um and then do I is there a green no I just have to find yellow and a you know is it the pink that I end up using I think it's a pink and then I just have to find an orange and a yellow so I just grab two other mixes and grab out an orange and a yellow that I really like but in this purple mix which I forgot to write down or say what mixes they were. I don't know if they're available anymore. I'm the worst. This is why I don't represent the companies. <laughs> I'm horrible at noting the things. I just like to create and show you what I did. Yep. It's also probably why my channel is not doing so hot. <laughs> Could be doing better. Uh, yeah. So putting sequins down kind of in those little clusters and then now I'm going to finally do my title. I'm going to use my favorite little alphas, um, the little foam alphas. They're like the perfect size for a nice quaint little title and I'm going to do pizza farm party and I do add some extra glue on those as well. But I really like how I basically recreated the stripes on the page with all those shapes and then last but not least after I glue all these down I decided I needed some white splatters just to add a little bit more of something around the page so I got this new awesome vortex um what's it called vortex mixer and so since like these color splash from shimmers I'll have like a bead in them it helps mix them and like super fast um which is awesome because I don't use my stuff enough that it doesn't settle every once in a while. And even so it settles pretty quickly, but especially these, um, acrylic paint type ones. And so this vortex spinner thingy is amazing. I will have it linked down below for you, but make sure you go check out, uh, the Facebook group, the blog and the store for the scrap room. Here's some close ups, and then stay tuned for a breakdown of what I'll use. Thanks again, guys. Bye. Hello you guys, this is the portion where we are going to go through the kit. If you um, have stuck this far through the video, you have come to this spot for the reveal of what was inside the kit that I just, uh, the or portion of the kit that I just created with. Um, if you want to see an even more in-depth look of everything that is available, the release for this month in June. Uh, 2024 you can always check out um, the scrap rooms YouTube channel or if you go to the website like you're gonna order you can actually click on links to see breakdowns from Tina Gale so 
but this is a breakdown of what is in the collection that I just played with. So this portion of the Flavors of the Month kit is called Just Because by Bella Boulevard. The two pieces of cardstock everyone's going to get is white. Um, yeah, I was like, I think I got two. Yeah, two pieces of white cardstock. And then three pattern papers. This one's called Great Day. Beautiful plaid as a B-side. Sing Me a Song. And actually, I think this is the B-side. Yes, Birds, which I love. And then Sing Me a Song. And then this beautiful one, Hello, with the beautiful yellow on the back. So those are the three pattern papers that come in the kit. And everyone is going to get, let's see. So let's get the yellow out to see the embellishments. Everyone is going to get a sixth of the pack of the ephemera because the their ephemera packs are so huge. And then a seventh of the pack of the epoxies. So this is why you get a seventh because look at how cute those are. So you get a little um, little selection of the epoxy stickers. I happen to get some cute little florals. And then these are the ephemera pieces I'm going to get. These will vary per kit. You could get the same thing. You could get similar close to or something completely different. So this is like a pack of seeds. Happiness blooms where seeds of love and joy are planted. There is a cloud, cute little birdhouse, a pink little butterfly, a little potted plant, a bird singing, a hedgehog, a beautiful little rainbow, a little flower, this cute mailbox, this cute bunny, and then just a floral cluster. And yeah, the Bella Boulevard um, ephemera packs are huge. So those are the items that, uh, sorry, I should have left them out there longer for you to look at. Um, those are the items I received in my kit. And like I said, this will vary per kit. You could get something completely different. So don't be surprised if you don't get these exact items, but, um, yeah, you're going to get a great variety no matter what. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out, um, like I said, the shop and, or the online store and the blog and Facebook group for all the fun challenges. And we'll see you next time. Bye.